got all my painting gear out the loft and I've set up in the back kitchen and I've seen this on Magic Wands video the other day, his last one and uh, I thought well that looks nice might have a go at that, it's basically like a bit of a sunrise it should be fairly simple so you thought you got rid of me with the metal detector now I'm going to body with a bloody patent video so hopefully it won't take too long in fact <laughs> I don't want it to right so I'll just uh, I'll just talk to you as I go along the screen's gone dull now ok so uh, I'll get set up and catch you in a minute now, I'm going to try and just rattle through this as quickly as possible. I haven't done any for six years. Uh, I'm going to be using mostly this brush. It's about two inch or one and three quarter inch, something like that. Because uh, you've got to get the sky in in like two minutes. You don't want it drying, otherwise you get all sharp lines on it, you know. So we don't want that. So the first thing, uh, I'll wet this paper and people said they, they can't paint because they don't know how to draw I've drawn a line there and that's all I've done that's the horizon line right so uh, let's have a go so let's get it nice and wet and just come down to that horizon line somewhere around somewhere around there Right, well that's wet. Let's get a bit of yellow in. That's our focal point. I'm going to move this about a bit. I'm going to move the, the focal point more over to the left. you see what I mean as I go along. Right, so we've got two minutes to get this guy in. So let's get a bit of yellow in. And drop that down a bit there. Right, uh, bit of orange in it you can see it running a bit, don't worry about that too much you can always just rinse the brush out a bit dab it on a piece of paper or something and just stop it running right, what are we going for now? Let's have a bit of red. It's not trying to do exactly the same as what you're seeing in the uh, photograph. I'm putting my own interpretation on it, sort of. It doesn't look very dark, this, but uh, it'll have to do. And then there's my blue one. A little bit of dark and a bit of dark and cut that. Do these really dark at the top if we can. Put a bit of Before it starts drying, maybe maybe a bit more, a bit more of orange colour. I think. Let's see how that looks. I say I haven't done any for about six years, so uh, it doesn't turn out. <laughs> it doesn't turn out. It's only to fill in a few days anyway when it's raining like today and that. Uh, right, let's do a bit, a bit more, throw a bit more blue in here. I want them corner, that corner anyway especially a bit darker because... Something happening there, a bit of a cloud dropping down, maybe. I still want that a bit darker up here. That's better, eh? Now 
Uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, just take a bit of <coughs> use the paper as your white. So if I just put a few little clouds in here, maybe one up here. Just using a bit of tissue paper. Right, now cover your ears up. I'm just going to dry this with an air dryer. Okay, cover your ears now. <laughs> Turn it on first. This is just to dry it quick so I can get on with a bit more, okay? So. Sorry about the noise, but just got a little puddle there, but sometimes happen, but I'm make that into a bit of a cloud there, can we? Right. So let's uh, let's put this dark bit in out the bottom. I say don't be afraid of painting because the last thing you want to do is copy. It's not, not about copying. Right, so let's get a, a bit of a line if we can first. Let's come. Let's go up a bit there. Right. I'm putting this on fairly thick. Give give the contrast you see with the uh, with the sky. If you know what I mean, <laughs> I know what I mean, but you might know what I mean. But well, I tell you what, we we'll put a bit of shape to this. There wasn't any in the thingy, but let's put a bit of a... There's something at the back of there, a bit of a... bit of a hill. Maybe a bit of a rise there, like so. It just gives a bit more interest. Uh, maybe add a little bit of colour into this foreground. Not much. Just so it's not pure dark, if you know what I mean. Maybe add a bit of red to it. Mm. Anyway, you're getting the idea. I say this is just a demo, a quick, really fast demo. So, uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, put these. Put these little trees in, in this area there, I'm going to use this brush. Because <laughs> right, a good brush this, you can throw your sky on and everything, all the big bit. Then you can just use the corners a little bit. So let's uh, just have a go at it. Eh? Tell you what we'll do, we'll put some, put some trunks in first. I say it won't be the same as what, what's on that picture, but it'll give you the same... The same feeling, if you know what I mean. Because painting's more about what you feel than what you see. I know it sounds a bit silly, but that's it. Right, just put a few lines in there, you see. And we'll just, uh, you want that corner like a chisel, really, so, and then we just just jump the corner about. That's all I've got to do. 
because these are in the distance you're not going to get a lot of uh, detail or nothing like that in fact they go a bit thicker at the down here so normally I'd take a little bit more time on this but I just want to get it in it just so gives the impression of trees I haven't actually got a bee trees <laughs> You've got to leave them white bits in between, otherwise it'll look a bit. Right, maybe something's happening there as well. They're starting to dry now, can you see it's going? Exactly. We might get a few sharp edges on that, but it doesn't matter. This only the foreground. The sky is the most important. Let's put something just here, just a little tree on its own, maybe. It's only you can see in this corner. Can't get the camera high enough to uh, to cover all of it. I think that will do. Right. So what I'll do now, this side, we we'll get some trees and well, it's a big tree this side actually. So I'll show you another thing that we can do. Let's get a bit of colour. I say I haven't gone into all the colours I'm using because uh, it just took too long basically. So we're using <laughs> the little brush again. <laughs> um, I'm just going to dab. I like do the trees only with a bit more force. Right now that's too, that's just too like that. So let's just put a bit more colour out. I want this really dark here because this is closest to the scene if you know what I mean. I don't like that bubble there as well. Right. Oh, that's better eh? That's better eh? Still not quite right but we'll get there. I'm saying just jumping about, that's all. Just jumping about. Right, now, I'll show you something up this end, right, I'm sorry now, I apologise, I'm going to use a little brush. But all I'm going to do is, just a little detailed brush like that, and up here, I come, a bit of pressure, come down, take the pressure off. I hope you can see this. Yeah, I should be able to see that now. This is uh, it's great relaxation, this. Uh, because, especially just doing landscapes, because no one can say that's not right. Because it's your landscape, if you know what I mean. As long as it, it looks similar like this is similar to the photo I showed you but it's not the same so uh, I won't, I'm not messing about too much on this uh, I just put a bit more get as much water off the brush as I can the big brush let me just dab a bit more up here I'm 
I'll just show you something now with this. This is my speciality brush. See now. Got a sponge. So I'll zip that in the water. Squeeze it out a bit. Get some nice paint on it. And here where these branches are, you can just see them here. What we'll do is just gently And I think we put a bit down there, I don't know what it is, but we put it there anyway. And what we can do, if I can find something to do, I'll use a tube. So where it's dark here in this corner, if you use something sharp, a credit card, something like that, and you can just scratch out. So it's like little bits of grass going, you can put a few up here. Right, so basically that's it. Uh, I'll try to make it as quick as I can, I didn't want to bore you too much, you know, so I hope you appreciate that. Uh, and of course, let's just put a couple of birds in. Uh, uh, put one on its side, flying sideways, you know what I mean. So we'll just do that, put another one full on here, yeah, I don't think we want too many do we, no, I think we'll call it a day on that, right, now what I'm going to do now, uh, I'll move all of these, these paints out of the way, <coughs> you probably noticed uh, on the board here, I've got masking tape holding the paper down, the watercolour paper. In fact, I'll just turn it off for a second. I'm going to blast the bottom here with uh, the air dryer. Right, as I say, masking tape I'll put around the edge because uh, I haven't got a mount to fit the painting. So when I take that off, it should give us a nice clean edge. And uh, obviously you'll be able to see it better. Uh, that's it, I was zoomed in a little bit there. So uh, let's take this off. And as I take this off, uh, I'll just tell you that. I took up painting, as I see in a program on the television, by a bloke called Frank Clark. An Irish lad, lovely man. And uh, so easy to listen to got that type of voice, you know, you can listen to him all day basically. And that's how I got into it. So, if you search for him on YouTube, Frank Clark, he'll talk you through everything instead of me boring, you know. Uh, and it's a great little, great little hobby when you can't get out metal detecting. You know, me... <laughs> That's your main hobby, metal detecting, and sometimes when it's raining or whatever, you just want to, oh, I wish I could do something. Now it's going to be awkward now because I'm doing this one hand. So uh, I'll have to put you down a sec, I'll just take this top piece of masking tape off. So I hope you can see now, that's took me well, I mean, knock off the talking at the beginning <laughs> and the talking now at the end, I don't know, 15 minutes was it, something like that, uh, but you can end up with a nice, you can see it better now, you end up with a nice little painting, just using a big brush like that and a few colours, anyway, I've bored you enough, I'm going to say to that, and uh, I say if you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. Yeah. Uh, either way, <laughs> I'm not bothered. <laughs> all right. So uh, hopefully I'll catch you soon. Metal detecting and all that. Okay, take care everyone. Look after yourselves. Till then,